Oklahoma Sooners. First of all, congratulations to both the gymnastics programs, the men and the women. Men are back-to-back -back national champions. Women won their first national championship last week. We had a Final Four appearance for the men. We had a Final Four appearance in college football. To get back to the football edition of the Final Four, Oklahoma will have a daunting, daunting task in the non-con with two 10-win teams that both won their divisions. One played in the conference championship, and they both won their bowl games. And it all kicks off against the one that won their bowl game, that won their conference division, and they won their conference outright in the Houston Cougars. And that will happen in Reliance Stadium on the first weekend of college football. Preview of that game coming up next. Don't go away. Welcome back to the pre-show, everybody. My name is Harry James, and we will first preview the first game of the season for the Oklahoma Sooners. The first team that the Sooners will play this knock on will be the Houston Cougars, uh, who went uh, for 2015. I'm sorry, they went 13-1 uh, and one overall, 7-1 and one in the uh, uh, American Athletic Conference. They actually won the American Athletic Conference West Divisional Championship then uh, played Temple in their conference championship game where they beat Temple 24-13 to for the AAC championship. After that, they beat the ACC champion, Florida State, in the uh, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Won that game 38-24 over the uh, ninth-ranked college football poll-ranked Florida State Seminoles. That went uh, ten and three last year, uh, six and two in the athletic uh, or in the ACC conference uh, for Florida State. Did Florida State coaching the Houston Cougars in his second year is Tom Herman, the leading returning scorers for Houston. Their quarterback number one, Greg Ward. Uh, Passing-wise, Greg Ward passed for uh, 2,502 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions on the season for 2015. He was the leading passer. He was also the leading rusher. Number one, was number one Greg Ward with 893 yards on the ground, 17 touchdowns on the ground. Uh, the other returning Leading rusher for Houston, Jalen Webb, went for 256 yards and three touchdowns. The uh, receiving core looks a lot like this for uh, uh, Houston. Number 10, Demarius Aries. And number 21, Charles Allen are the big returners. Uh, first of all, their their main returning leading uh, guy from the reception era is number 10, Demarius Aries. 89 catches last year, 1,140 yards in the air to go with six touchdowns. While the aforementioned number 21, Charles Allen, had 49 receptions for 658 yards and four touches on the year. The defensive uh, returners, number one, Steven Taylor, 
And number 52, Jordan. Uh, uh, Steven Taylor had 82 tackle, 80 tackles last year, fumble, uh, forced, uh, and two interceptions. The leading returning, uh, uh, the other returning st uh, player was um, had 93 tackles last year, two forced fumbles, a fumble recovered, and a pick. As far as Tom Herman's concerned, Herman had his playing career um, played out like this. He spent from 94 to 97 at uh, California Lutheran College University. A coaching history, he was a GA on that 99 team from Texas that, uh, that Oklahoma ended up getting the uh, lead on and then losing the lead. He was on that staff. Before heading uh, to uh, Sam Houston State as the wide receiver and special teams coach, was there from 04 or 01 to 04, 04 to 06. He was at Texas State as the quarterback and offensive coordinator. Um, 07 to 08, that one year he was with Rice as the quarterback and offensive coordinator. He was also quarterback and offensive coordinator at Iowa State. From 2009 to 2011, um, he was also finally the quarterback coach for 2012 to 2014 at the Ohio State University. Before 2015, accepting the year, the college, uh, the the head coach at the University of Houston. Uh, they are the University of Houston. That is, uh, that's where he's been. That's his only head coach job. Uh, post game career, uh, or his overall career is 12 and one, nine. That's a 9.23 winning percentage. Uh, one and zero in the bowls, of course, beating um, Florida State in the bowl game and conference or divisional titles since 2000. For, for for these guys, he has two. They have two of them. Uh, they were the Ameri They were the uh, 2006 Conference USA champion. And, um, of course, 2015, they were the American Conference champion, the AAC. Ha also have the two uh, co divisional championships. Back in 06, of course, has the Conference USA West Divisional Championship. And then last year, 2015, has the American West Divisional Championship. This will be a potential neutral site game to be played at Reliant Stadium. Everybody's saying how it's a neutral site game and all this, and it probably will be. Um, because this is something interesting that I found out, as it is an integral site. The University of Houston actually has the largest or second largest home base for at least the Houston club. Uh, the Houston club is the biggest uh, alumni club, uh, one of the biggest. I don't know if that one or the uh, the one in Dallas is bigger. Probably the one in da uh, Houston's bigger because the one in Dallas, I, I think what they do is they divide that into Arlington and Irving and all that. Houston is Houston, so it's a it's a pretty big alumni core, and you can bet that they'll all be there uh, supporting the Oklahoma Sooners as um, they will play the University of Houston Cougars the first weekend of college football in Reliant Stadium in the neutral site game. Should be pretty interesting uh, to find out what happens right out the gate, of course, because uh, they're coming off a year to where they lost two games. Um, did the Sooners. Houston, though, only lost one, going 13-1, and one, and and it will get them ready, because remember, from 2012 to 2014, uh, Tom Herman was at Ohio State, and they have Ohio State coming in uh, two weeks from this game. They'll have their push game, and then they'll play the Ohio State University in, in Norman, so it'll be interesting to find out how uh, how the team looks that that time so early in the year. Two both teams, by the way, winning ten games last year. What a non-con! And my hat goes off to Bob Stoops and Joe Castiglione and all the football players and uh, Larry Nafee and all the insiders in the football team. Because as a season ticket holder, uh, you, you got to admit, even though the last year hurts. What's really going to help is if you test your team. 
That's what the softball team does. That's what the basketball team did. They helped them out. Now, given that in football, you get one loss. One loss and you're basically done. Two losses and you're really done. So it's harder to do in football, but they're doing it. They're putting their foot down, and it should be a great test that will open against the 13-1 overall, 7-1 uh, in AAC, not to include the West Divisional Championship and Conference Championship over Temple. Temple. Next week's, op uh, next week's uh, preview will be the home preview against the Louis University of Louisiana Monroe. This has been the preview to the Houston Cougars. Again, one final time, they went 13 and 1 last year overall, 7 and 1 in league play, won the, uh, not to include the ACC champion, uh, beating Temple 24 13 in the ACC title game, and the AAC title game, and then beating the ACC champ, Florida State Seminoles, that went 10 and 3 last year in their bowl game, 38 to 24. Thanks for watching, everybody. Should be a great summer. Uh, I got more videos, of course, coming up for you. Don't go away. Uh, see you all next week. Uh, my name's Harry James. Follow me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or you tweet me at Sooner underscore fan underscore OK. Thanks for watching, everybody, and Boomer Sooner, everybody.